Hello there everyone, Quinnigi D here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm here with part two of Let's Play The Sims 4, Simvivor Season 9, Blood Vs. Water. So many words. Today we are here on the beach bright and early, right before 5 a.m. with our loving couple, Kevin, who is mid-fart, and uh, Brianna, who is on her phone. Um, in the last episode, the Blood Tribe, which was all of our returning players' loved ones, Kevin, uh, Miracle, Mara, and the recently voted out, Bella, who was Matthew's cousin, had a downfall, and the returning survivors really beat them hard in the challenge, but we will see how this episode goes. We're gonna see how today is. Maybe our uh, our loved ones will be better at today's challenge, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to play the episode. Uh, for those of you that missed the first episode, I highly recommend going check it out because that is what's gonna give you the entire rundown as to who everyone is, who what everyone's relationships are, and what the heck blood versus water means. Um, but basically, it means that they're all playing with one of their loved ones, but they're playing against them on a different tribe. So here we have husband and wife, Brianna and Kevin, who have honestly been, like, killing the game. Like, they've been doing really, really well, and they have just been very much so in love on the beach. So it's really nice to see them together. Uh, in the last episode, Kevin wasn't doing a lot of socializing, and it looked like Brianna, at the very end of the episode, went and talked to everybody on his tribe and was like, do this, do this, do this. And Kevin was safe, and Bella ended up going home. So we will see if he can survive another week, because the two other girlies on his tribe, Miracle and Mara, who are both sleeping, they made pretty good friends with each other. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see if they stick it out at having a little bond, or if that was just for show for the first week. Um, and then our returning survivors, Cole, Kendall, Matthew, and Brianna did really great in the challenge and they were so social like this is the most social group I've ever seen like it's not always in the first few episodes that like the entire tr like beach is just booming with conversation and that really was the case in the last episode so that was also really cool to see and I do think that is largely in part to how much skill building has happened in their previous seasons and how comfortable they are already with the game oh my god goodness. Brianna, you're still gonna kiss this man and hug this man when he's looking like that? Looking filthy. Wow, the lack of water is really affecting the tribe, I see. <gasps> Kevin is doing something that I didn't even introduce yet, but totally forgot that I placed. Okay, segue. In between, I can't tell totally you this. In between episodes, I placed down a little lump of clay on this table. The exact lump of clay that Kevin is playing with in his hands right now. And if you are a fan of Simviver, you may or may not know that lump of clay is a symbolism of a hidden immunity idol. And so yes, Kevin has picked up a hidden immunity idol. However, it's not for him. This hidden immunity idol is for his loved one. So yes, the twist for this hidden immunity idol placed is that whichever sim finds it must use it on their loved one, and if their loved one is not in the game, must use it on their next closest ally. So for example, Matthew's relative, Bella, was eliminated, so if he had found this, it would go to his next closest ally, and we would figure that out at the point of him picking up the clay. But since Kevin picked it up, this immunity idol is for Brianna. Now, Brianna will, won't have possession of this idol. Kevin will hold possession of this idol, um, and she may or may not know about it. Doesn't really matter in terms of playing The Sims, but that means the next time Brianna is at Tribal Council, she cannot be voted out. And so we will see, do with that as you please. Um, but yeah, I totally forgot. I, I played this a few hours apart, and so I totally forgot that I placed that down right here, but nobody else has come to this lump of clay. It is an unmolded clay, and so Kevin is finder's keepers, and Kevin has gotten it. That is a great way to pay back Brianna for doing all of that service for you in the last episode, keeping you safe, Kevin. That really is great, so congratulations to Kevin. And Brianna especially, it's really not going to matter for Kevin. I mean, like, 
Brianna really should have been the one to find it because I feel like Kevin is more so on the outs than Brianna is. But, I mean, you never know. I could be completely wrong. I could be totally underestimating him. So, who knows? But he is over there playing with his lump of clay. Oh. Oh. Talk about being soul sisters, twin flames. You girlies good? Gosh. There doesn't seem to be much talking going on <laughs> this is so weird oh we got another conversation going we got another conversation matthew cole and brianna oh look at the the water tribe over here they're doing a little you bit we're like guys we got this i know we don't want to vote out our loved ones but we are here for redemption we are here to be one of the soul survivors and honestly it's really exciting for me to see who wins this season, knowing what I have planned for next season. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, the the blood tribe is a little discombobulated right now. Kevin is still playing with his immunity idol. Uh, Miracle is showering, and Mara is still sleeping. So that's not the best for them. But the water tribe over here, they're, they're, they seem in it. Maybe, I feel like the blood tribe being newbies on the island, they're not as experienced. They don't really know what they have to be doing, but it is really cool, especially because they don't know that they're all in the same tribe, that they're, like, talking to each other. So I think that that's, like, a really fun thing to see. That there's some real tribe unity there. So that's really, really cool. Um, oh, good morning, Mara. How are you doing today? I think it's time to go shower if I were you but yeah Miracle and Mara I, I I said there was a budding friendship but they haven't really done any talking today and that is largely in part to the fact that Mara has just woken up at one one o'clock so it is what it is it is what it is um but yeah it doesn't seem like there's much else happening around here and so I think I'll fast forward all the way until 2 p.m. and we can head over to the challenge. All right, so this competition is called Don't Belly Flop and well, like Okay, I said that really weird, but it's supposed to be like, don't flop, but don't belly flop. Like, don't belly flop, but don't flop. Okay, you guys get it. This challenge is called Don't Belly Flop. And in this challenge, we will have two sims side by side, one from the blood tribe, one for the water tribe, go up to the diving board and try not to belly flop. If they complete a successful dive, they move on. If they do not complete a successful dive, they are out and so first tribe to have or last tribe standing wins um, because there's three people on blood and four people on water we will be sitting someone out just for fairness so i'm going to do a random ask siri for a number between one and four whichever number it lands on kendall being one cole being four will sit out of this challenge give me a number between one and four the answer is two you guys can't see the answer is two it says two and so brianna the former comp beast will be setting out of this challenge so let's see how that affects the rest of the water tribe uh up first we have mara we are going to jump into the pool we are going to do a cannonball let's do a cannonball and we're gonna have kendall also go into a cannonball all right guys let's see Mara's gonna go up Mara completes a successful cannonball. Kendall also completes a successful cannonball. All right. Oh, and Miracle is belly flopping. Matthew completes a successful backflip. Yeah, Matthew, you're right. Miracle is out. Miracle, you are going to head home. Matthew, you are going to sit back on the bench. Okay, and both Kevin and Cole completed a successful swan dive. Okay. Uh-oh. Kendall belly flops. Mara completes a successful backflip. So Kendall, you gotta go home. Mara, you get to go sit back down. <gasps> Uh-oh. We have two belly flops. Matthew and Kevin both belly flopped, so that means it comes down to loved one, dynamic duo, couple, Cole and Mara. Cole, we are going to jump into the pool doing a backflip, 
and Mara jumped into the pool doing a backflip. <gasps> Oh, and both of them complete successful backflips. Let's go ahead and do it again. Okay, it looks like Cole is about to complete a successful backflip again. We'll just have to wait and see. And Cole completes a successful backflip. Mara? <gasps> it seems as though Mara is... And Mara also completes a successful backflip. Okay. Oh. Right. Oh, and Cole's bathing suit has come off. <gasps> All right, Cole. <gasps> Cole belly flops. Oh, and Mara also belly flops, which means we gotta keep going. All right. Looks like Cole's gonna complete a successful backflip. <gasps> and Mara. Doesn't Mara belly flops, meaning congratulations, Water Tribe, yet again, they have one immunity safe from the vote tonight at Tribal Council. As for the Blood Tribe, Mara, Miracle, and Kevin, someone will be going home again. That was a very close competition and a very good fight put up by both Cole and Mara. Uh, so let's call... Let's get some pants on, Cole and Mara. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go back. Um, which also essentially means that Kevin's immunity ale isn't going to do much for him today because it has to be played for Brianna. So he is equally as eligible to get voted out as anyone else. Um, but let's head home. Let's do some socializing before tribal council. Okay, so we're back at camp and Cole is still naked, which is fantastic. <sighs> Any socializing happening? We do have four hours till tribal. Cole is, he's he's really proud of his his major win today at the pool. Who is Miracle talking to? Miracle's talking to to Cole, and she's gonna have a pillow fight. Just looks like the red tribe is talking to some people on the other tribe, but not necessarily with each other. So, honestly, if Kevin wants any fighting chance, he really, really, really does need to kick it up and, and chat with one of the girls because they are they were pretty tight in the last episode. I don't really remember how strong their relationship was, but I know they were very close. So I would love to see some chatting. And Brianna can't do any saving this time around. Literally, Cole, keep, we, Cole, we gotta put some clothes on, man. Kevin's doing some great socializing, just not with anyone worthwhile. Nothing, y'all? Nothing? It's 10 o'clock. And so... Sims seem to have it all planned out. It's time for Tribal. All right, everybody. Welcome to Tribal Council. Uh, it was another... Not so great week for the Blood Tribe. And so, let's recap the week. <sighs> Miracle, the tribe did not perform so well in the challenge. And when you came back, you really focused all your time on the other tribe. Was that you focusing on the long game because you see yourself surviving tonight? Or was that you just giving up? Mara, in the last episode, we saw that you were a great contender, really socializing with the girlies on your tribe. And in this episode, you didn't really focus on that so much, but you prompted yourself as a competition beast. Did that help keep you in the game, or did that help your fellow tribe mates vote you out? Kevin, uh, in the last episode, it seemed as though Brianna did some of your dirty work and you did have that idol. Will you be sticking around long enough for Brianna to use it? All right. First vote goes to Kevin. Second vote goes to Mara. Second person voted out of Sim Viber Season 9 Blood vs. Water is... Kevin, oh Kevin, I'm so sorry, but the tribe has spoken. Yes, it seems as though Mara and Miracle's friendship that they had built in the last episode was strong enough to keep them here. And therefore, Kevin, sweet Kevin, you're going home. I know Brianna is not going to be happy 
to hear this. In fact, she's watching. Um, but I also know, Kevin, if you're watching in real life, I'm very sorry. Um, but your sim was just not socializing as much as the other girlies were. Uh, you were focused on her. And it's very sweet. Um, and it is also great that you did find that immunity idol for Brianna. However, now that Kevin is gone, so is the idol. The idol is no longer in play. It is going home with Kevin, and that is just how it was meant to be. So there is no idol. Um, but unfortunately, the blood tribe has fallen again. However, it is not over until it's over. We have two people left in this tribe. We'll have to see what happens to it next week. So thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed, please like. It's a big help. And if not, I don't care. Still like, it's, it's a big help. And I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo! Surprise! I bet you thought you seen the last of me. Well, if you did, you're wrong, because welcome to Beyond the Blackness. If you stayed through those two seconds of blackness, you've made it here, to the Beyond the Blackness battle, where we have our two most recent eliminated Simvivors who are about to play in a challenge to win an advantage for their loved one still in the game. We're going to see this again later in the series, where the third and fourth eliminated contestants compete against each other to win an advantage for their loved one as well. But for now... It's just the first and second. And so, because both of them still have allies in the game, Kevin has Brianna and Bella has Matthew, they will be playing for that person. If they didn't have a loved one in the game, they would play for their closest ally in the game. Anyways, I really like this idea because in the game, there was no way for them to help each other. In fact, they were competing against each other in both challenges. Jumping off the diving board and playing the game of chess, they were directly competing against each other. And on the beach, of course, there are ways that you can talk and whatnot, but they weren't on the same tribe, so it really doesn't benefit them literally at all. In fact, the only way I did give them to benefit each other was that immunity idol, which Kevin found that he could have used on Brianna, but he got eliminated with it. And so Brianna is now, she doesn't have that power because Kevin was eliminated with it. And so there's just literally nowhere on the beach for them to literally support each other. And so I'm going to do it now. They are going to do it after they've been eliminated beyond the blackness of your survivor life. And so in this challenge, Bella and Kevin are going to build a wooden sculpture. Whoever's horse sculpture costs more money wins an advantage for their loved one in the game, Matthew or Brianna. And that advantage, you will find out in the next episode, but it will be a challenge advantage that will help them potentially win the next immunity challenge. So, survivors ready? Go! It's not about who builds it the quickest, it is just about who builds it the best. I'm very intrigued. Both of them just acquired the handiness skill, so it is very possible that they could both do equally as bad. We will never know. If the amounts come out to the same, we will go for round two. And look at us behind the challenge arena. Did you guys notice this when we were watching the challenge videos uh, in the episode? This has been here the whole time. Okay, Bella's thing is in her inventory, and she is now going to grill. Bella, we're not going to do that, but that's okay. And Kevin's thing is in his inventory. Okay, let's check out Bella's inventory. You guys can't see it, but I'll, I'll un let me unhide this photo. Bella has a pile of scraps worth $10. Kevin has a beautifully crafted horse sculpture and some grilled fruit. Uh, worth $20. So Kevin's horse sculpture is going to give Brianna a special power in the game. And you will find out how that affects Brianna in the next episode. But I'm going to place it right here on the lot and it will be waiting for Brianna when she gets here. But for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like this big up and I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo.